Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Mokonaman at YouTube with another model review. Today we'll be reviewing the Mr. Hobby accretion range of what I assume are acrylic paints that are very similar to uh, the Mr. Hobby range of lacquers. So it's probably the same pigment but uh, different uh, transport medium. It is uh, very similar to the water-based acrylic uh, Aquarius uh, range. It is all made by GSI, which is formerly known as uh, Gunzi. So we're going to be doing a test, thinning it down with isopropic alcohol. I've got uh, the Tamir White acrylic thinner, uh, the thinner by Mr. Hobby, or uh, Aquarius Hobby Color will uh, do. Isopropic alcohol will also do, methylated spirits if you're desperate, though lacquer thinner should also be a good vehicle. We've got four spoons, our four tests will be the white paint on a grey primer, the metallic paint on a clean spoon, and hand painting in one coat and three coats with uh, the green. So we always thoroughly stir or put a ball bearing and shake your paint a little bit in so uh, pretty thick has the smell of your uh, traditional style of house paint definitely is an um, acrylic we're going to add uh, a little bit of a dribble of isopropic Give her a good stir and the jet bubble technique. So let's give it a bit of a whirl. Seems to be a bit of a challenge, uh, though it goes down very, very smoothly and transparently. But it seems to be a bit slow to dry. So ideally, you want to do it in coats and not in one hit. May need a second coat, though it is somewhat down smoothly in a fairly uh, large needle nozzled airbrush. With a smaller needle and nozzle, definitely pre-mix uh, before adding into the airbrush itself. Two coats. It's dried quickly. Uh, it's kind of transparent though, it's very smooth and glossy. So it's uh, pretty much just a, a faster drying version of uh, your um, acrylic. Now, mix with a bit of lacquer. The pliers are right as well. Uh, a little bit smoother, probably dries quicker, though in the end, it uh, more or less um, is just spraying with lacquer, so you should be using lacquer paint. So spraying the white, uh, lacquer came out grey, acrylic not so good. Sticking to the lacquer trend, we're going to spray the uh, red steel. And it's going on a bit gritty, though these pigments are freaking massive and uh, once you build it up it's uh, very speckly, very cool, very smooth uh, I do not see this passing through a regular airbrush but yeah that is uh, that's quite a cool effect uh, though not the sort of thing that you'd get out of a lacquer it's uh, a completely uh, different thing it's uh, almost a very glitter like paint so if you're airbrushing definitely lacquer Unfortunately, uh, it has a tendency of uh, curdling in your airbrush and leaving uh, pigments behind. The pigments are very, very dense, very, very thick. Cleaning them out is an absolute pain. Uh, I do not, under any circumstances, um, recommend airbrushing with this paint. And definitely not with isopropic alcohol. Lack is the way to go. Though, if you have access to the Mr. Hobby lacquer paints, just airbrush with that. Experiment 3. I found uh, with the airbrushing, if you use no isopropic alcohol, 
Uh, the lacquer just flushes everything out a lot easier. No curdling in the airbrush goes. We're going to now airbrush uh, hand paint straight out of the jar and onto the model. And uh, it already applies really, really, really thin. And this again might be already thinned for hand painting. So this will have to be done in a few coats. So thinning it might not even be required. So this is the thinned that 50-50 experiment and we shall be doing it in uh, three coats. So we've got a slurry of 50% paint, 50% uh, thinner and a spoon, a wide brush. We uh, apply it on as thinly as uh, possible. Uh, there is a few uh, bubbles, but it is what it is. And we shall uh, wait for it to dry and apply uh, a few more coats. The idea again is, is to have it uh, streaky, but not too streaky and somewhat transparent. So, it's quite dry. Slightly tacky, very, very, very glossy. We'll put on the second coat straight out of the jar. And it's got some streaks and whatnot, not a problem. Should sell far. Level a bit. Just a bit of thinner. There we go. We'll let that dry. In 15 minutes, it's virtually dry to the touch, yet the slurry is still uh, wet. So we are going with our second coat. And it might need a little more than three coats, but drying that quickly, doing uh, multiple coats, is not going to be much of an issue. Okay, so now we're doing our third coat, and it's again about 10-15 minutes, it's absolutely bone dry, so realistically you could uh, get a solid colour in about an hour's time maybe, or a day's work. So here's another coat of uh, moving the paint around, it does have a tendency of uh, dripping and uh, pulling. So you probably want to do it in a lot lighter coats than I'm doing it in. Next coat for pre-thinned. It's uh, dry yet again. And we just slowly brush it on from the slurry. And uh, the coat is building up stronger and stronger. Self levels quite nicely all the bubbles and stuff because it's incorrectly mixed just a bit of buffing will do I suppose hand painting with thinner is slowly getting there and still drying very quickly so it's checking on uh, durability from uh, masking leaves a bit of residue but uh, definitely takes uh, masking well it's probably because I've only allowed it less than an hour to dry. Uh, more time or a top coat shouldn't be a problem. Compared to, let's say, Vallejo and polyurethanes, uh, that's pretty awesome. And here is the whole lineup. The white, unfortunately, is not that crash hot. It's very translucent, didn't airbrush nicely. Airbrushed beautifully with uh, the lacquer. Though on a primed surface, that's uh, two coats. That would require many coats to get right. The metallic is a very thick pigment. that applies very thick. Goes down very, very smooth. Self levels. Looks nice, but does not compare anywhere near with lacquer. This was hand painted in three coats straight out of the bottle. And on a smooth surface, that is super, super impressive. Uh, 
this is definitely ideal as um, a hand painted product, uh, your Gundams whatever, a smoothed and textured surface or a primed surface would be perfect, this is a smooth spoon, any large smooth glossy surface is always hard to hand paint and for this to get done in three coats and be reasonably dry it's quite a miracle. So I really 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 recommend just using it straight out of the jar, brush in, slap it across the surface, not too thick. It has a thing of uh, pulling and running. So it's just dry brush it onto a surface. Three coats or so, four maybe. This is thinned, 50-50. It pulled way too much so it won't do well with uh, detail and whatnot and probably needs uh, one more coat. You can open it up with a bit of thinner and you can see the mark there, it hasn't uh, fully dried. This is uh, a product that you probably should definitely not um, interfere with. It seems to be at the right thinned consistency, the right self-leveling properties. Just use it straight out of the jar. That's uh, all it needs. Very impressed with it with a hand painting product. I'm not going to personally use it, but um, I would like to at least paint uh, a kit with it one off see how I like it though it's definitely got my seal of approval on this thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content and just before I let you go uh, these three panels has been done in one coat so very small sections primed and fine detail one coat, that's all that needs and uh, that's what sells the product to me to being pretty awesome and interesting. Stay tuned for further uh, content, weekly to two videos a week, Facebook's got a lot of interesting stuff, check out the description um, below for references and uh, other interesting content and we'll catch you guys next time if you have any questions, always happy to answer them. Catch you guys next time.